Hi Capricorn, welcome to the channel. If you are new here, a very warm welcome to you. Welcome back to all my existing subscribers and cross watchers. You are also very welcome here. So today we're going to do something different for you. We are going to be doing a Celtic cross reading. So let's begin with all that being said and get right into your reading and see what messages we have for our lovely Capricorns. So Capricorn please, what is it they need to know for their highest good? Capricorn Capricorn, please. I have pre-shuffled the deck, so we're just going to give it one or two more shuffles here. Right, let's see what we've got for you. Okay. Capricorn, starting off with the Nine of Swords, what's going on here with you? Right, bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. Okay, so there's been some sort of ending that's taken place in your life and some form of betrayal has taken place. But this is the end now and you cannot get worse than that. Whatever is done there is done, it's over. Okay, so there has been some form of painful ending, some form of betrayal that took place in your life, but it is now over. You've been stabbed in the back, but you are now walking towards the daylight, the new dawn. Okay, so let's see what's happening. You have got your main energy is the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords is all about anxiety. It's all about sleepless nights, nightmares, that sort of thing. Some of you could be having nightmares while you're dreaming. Some of you could be having trouble sleeping. Some of you could be having worry and anxiety about something in your life here. Crossing that, we have the Emperor. So perhaps you're having some form of anxiety about a business of yours, it could be, or if you own your own business, you could be worrying about it doing well. You could be worrying for some of you about someone in your life that is an emperor. This could be a father figure, an older male figure, a husband, <clears throat> a love partner, someone that is in authority. Otherwise, this could just be you wanting to get into your full power, wanting to run things beautifully. How you are viewing this all, though, is the Six of Coins. So there is generosity here. The Six of Coins is all about equal give and take. What I'm actually seeing for a lot of you is that you are in your full power here with the Emperor. Things are getting really good for you, especially with the Six of Coins, because this is how you are viewing this whole thing. People are helping you out. Perhaps you're getting money from others. Perhaps you're getting more work in, which is elevating your status. Your status is being elevated. 
with this emperor card here. So there could be just some form of sleepless nights that you are having. Perhaps it's not even anxiety. Perhaps these are deep-seated anxieties from past things that you guys are just releasing. You know, Pluto is going out of your sign. I think it's the 21st of January. And things have been very heavy in your life. And I think it's for the last 15 years or so. Um, where you have tried your best to start things and they've just failed. Everything that you've been trying to get off the ground just doesn't seem to go anywhere. And that's because of Pluto being in your sign. Now that's releasing. It's going out. And I'm seeing this Nine of Swords as all that stuff being released out of your body now, being released out of your memories now. The last of it going, that's how I'm seeing it, if this isn't a worry over somebody in your life. But I'm seeing it more as all that stuff being released from you because you are seeing something grow here. You're seeing, you're viewing this whole situation in your life as very, very good. I mean, the six of coins is very much getting the finances you need to become this emperor figure. So you're in charge of something. Perhaps you own your own business. Perhaps you are worrying about your business. But I'm not, you know, this is the card that you're coming out as, the six of coins, and I'm not seeing worry here. So I'm seeing these worries as more of nightmares that you are perhaps having but it's stuff that you are releasing from the past working through stuff from the past some of you may even be doing light work in your sleep where you wake up in the morning feeling really really tired after going to these places to heal in your sleep because you're not coming through as anxious, and this is your card. This is how you're viewing the situation. You're viewing it as getting what you need to accomplish this emperor status, to accomplish having a successful business. Okay. Right. So, the immediate action that you are going to take is the three of coins. So, Getting the help that you need, working together with people, is what your next step is going to be. Putting yourself out there in front of people. Because in the traditional Three of Coins, we see he's standing on a pedestal, showing his work to others, and people are admiring his work. So. It's about teamwork, the Three of Coins. Some of you could be working as a team with others. But I'm seeing also for some of you that you are showcasing your work. And uh, other people are admiring your work. So this is the next step that you're taking. This is the step you're taking, is to put yourself out there, put your work out there, so that others can partake of it and share in it okay and your ultimate goal in this whole thing in earning your own business is the ten of cups which is ultimate happiness creating happiness for your family creating a happy home creating happiness for yourself this is absolutely the pinnacle of happiness within a family beautiful home you can see the little castle in the distance there's so much love and happiness here and play and fun and just everything you need this is why you're doing it because you want it all you want the happiness you want the love you want your family to be happy and not to have any worries you want the worries to go so i'm really seeing the main issue is that you are working through these worries in your sleep 
You're doing healing work by releasing all those swords. If you're having nightmares, you're releasing sword by sword by sword every single night. That's what I'm seeing here. And this is you owning your own business, releasing those worries, releasing the stresses and anxieties in your life so that you can get to this emperor status. And you're getting the help that you need financially here. Okay. This could be people paying for your work. This could be people helping you out, giving you money. Anything like that. This is also you being generous with others. Okay. So you're showcasing your work because your goal is to get to this ultimate happy home, happy family happy love in your life. So beautiful goals to achieve here. Okay, so what you've got going for you is the Hierophant. So something that you can use is perhaps a spiritual teacher in your life can help you out here. Some big organization perhaps that you work for could help you out in some way. And for other, others of you, the spiritual side of you, connecting to the spiritual side of you and teaching others that those spiritual lessons that you have learnt or the spiritual laws or whatever it is, is what you've got going for you. And you can use that to get to your ultimate goal. Some of you may have spiritual businesses even. Okay. And I find this really funny in a way because you've got the Hierophant, which is the spiritual side over there. And on the other side, you've got the devil. Now, the devil is your card, Capricorn. This is very much earthly stuff. This is all the earthly stuff, the devil. And the Hierophant is all the spiritual stuff. And I'm almost seeing that you need to have a balance between the two in order to achieve this happiness. You need to, you're going to be in your full Capricorn power. And, you know, that isn't all sort of floaty stuff. It, it, it's also the earthly stuff. It's having that balance between spirit and earth. That's what I'm seeing it. You've got to also enjoy yourself to some degree on the planet. It's almost like the balance between the dark and the light. And you know, we can't judge any of it because God is in all of it. God is in everything. He is, or it is the allness. It's the allness. So you have to have that balance. And the emperor also, in order to run a business, has to have that balance between the spiritual laws and the earthly desires, perhaps. He has to have that connection to God, to spirit, and also be able to bring it to the earth. So that's what I'm seeing you are doing here. I hope this is resonating for you guys. Don't forget to hit the like button if it is making any sense at all. I would really appreciate that. Okay, so when is this going to happen for you? This goal that you want to achieve of the Ten of Cups, this goal of happiness. It's going to happen for you when you have released all these nightmares first of all so perhaps that's something that you need to just go through until all nine swords of those have been released because we've gone from the nine to the ten now it's over it's being released it's, you know for some of you you still might be in the nine and the ten is under the deck so you can't quite see it yet We've got the Three of Cups here, so 
This is all about celebrations. This can be about friends, friendships, siblings, celebrating something, as I say. So perhaps for some of you, this is going to happen, this Ten of Cups. When you start celebrating your wins, when you let go of your anxieties and start celebrating your wins as well. That's what I'm seeing. Celebrate the little wins that you get. Notice them, be grateful for them and celebrate them. There may also be a friend, friendships. You know, being around friends is also going to help you to get to your goal. Perhaps friends are actually going to help you to be more seen with whatever it is that you are showcasing here. We can see in this card as well that the little figure at the back has made the three pentacles and the two figures in the front are admiring his work or her work. Okay, so perhaps friends, perhaps this happiness and this ultimate goal and being a successful boss in your business is going to happen when you let go of your anxieties, put your work out there, and then your friends can help you. There may even be three people in particular that are going to help you. But I'm seeing that you also need to celebrate those little wins because as we celebrate the small wins, so we notice them and we bring in more wins into our life. Okay. So it just looks like this growth is going to take place also when you celebrate and perhaps when you speak to your friends about this business and put it out there more and relax a little bit more away from this anxiety and friends are going to come in also and help you out. That's how I'm seeing it. I hope this is making sense. And your hopes and your fears is the Queen of Swords. What is the purpose of this? What is the purpose of getting to this ultimate happiness? Why do you want to do all of this? Because you want to be able to communicate clearly. You want your mind to be clear here. Perhaps some of you are hoping to cut off some of these people that betrayed you, to get rid of the old Pluto stuff in your life, to cut it off. But you're wanting also to bring about a transformation with those butterflies there and to communicate clearly. That's how I'm seeing it. And you're wanting also to use your ideas. You're wanting to communicate all your ideas out there to others so that you can become successful and perhaps even to cause a transformation in other people's lives as well as your own. I see there are three butterflies there as well. So there may be three important people in your life that are going to help you Capricorn for some of you because the three of cups is all about celebrating joy it's all about being creative and happy celebrating with your friends sharing in your good fortune being grateful for what you've got as I said so you're going to get to this ultimate happiness when you start doing that and forget about all these anxieties that are going on in your life. Know that you are powerful and that you can communicate these ideas to others clearly and beautifully, okay, to transform lives. 
And then the outcome here is the star, the star of success. You're going to see yourself in a new way. This is a beautiful, beautiful card. You keep getting the star, Capricorn, which is your wishes coming true. It's a really beautiful card. You are going to be shining so brightly in the future, the near future. And you've got the devil coming out here as well as the star. But the devil is you in all your power. This is you knowing that you can be strong, successful, clear. You know, you don't have to be a floaty sort of type of person. You need to be able to cut through all the betrayals that have been coming to you in your life and know that you still are a being of light. And perhaps you also need to enjoy some of the earthly things in life, like celebrating with your friends and that sort of thing. Because you are getting to the star status. You're going to be changing your title, seeing yourself in a new way. You're going to be shining really, really brightly, Capricorn. This is the wish card here. Make your wishes. You know, so the devil is also the material things in life. And I'm seeing someone handing something to you here. So perhaps you are. That's what's coming to you in the near future. The material desires that you have are going to be coming to you. As well as the happiness as well as the spirit. So perhaps be careful of being in bondage to these material objects in your life. Have a balance between the spiritual side and the material side. That's always important. Okay. And the star can also indicate that time where you need to also relax. So there's a time of healing coming in for you after this betrayal. That's also what I'm seeing for you. A time of healing coming in after this betrayal. And also you are just shining like a star here. I'm really seeing that with that card and the stars over her head. Okay, so for some of you, just be careful not to only think about material objects. You know, as a Capricorn, this is our card. And um, so just use this spiritual side of you as well to balance out these material desires that you have. Because that's going to get you to your goal. And your goal is beautiful. It's just absolute happiness. You're wanting emotional happiness within your family life. And in so doing, you get the material stuff as well. So I really, really love this for you. This is absolutely beautiful. And I am seeing people helping you out here and friendships and the need to celebrate, but perhaps in balance. So go out there, forget about what's happened, let those swords go now, release the anxieties, Pluto's going soon, and you're going to be getting all your desires, that much I can tell you, because everything that's been stuck in your life, Capricorn, over the last whatever it is, 15 years, everything's going to feel easy very, very soon if it hasn't already started for you. Everything is going to start just moving freely again. So, awesome, awesome reading for you guys. I like it. I really do. It's just showing me that you are really powerful at the moment. 
You're wanting amazing things for your life. Wonderful goals that you want to achieve. And you'll be able to run your business and your life beautifully. You're going to be in your power so much. Things are going to be going very well for you. And you've got beautiful things to celebrate. Beautiful friends around you as well. Okay, so let me leave it there. I'm going to pick an Atlantis card for you guys. I'm seeing there's a lot of material stuff coming in for you, Capricorn. I think a lot of us have been struggling for so many years. And now the wishes are coming in with that star card. The wishes are coming in and you're going to be in your full power again. Right, one last message for Capricorn, please. Okay, we've got the High Priest coming out here, which is the Hierophant, basically. So, leadership. This is also the Emperor being the leader of your business. If you pick this card, it suggests that you take command of your life. And demonstrate who you truly are. I mean, this is what the Emperor does. This is what the Hierophant does. This is what the Queen of Swords does. Those are all cards of taking charge. Even the Devil card as the Capricorn. Coming out for a Capricorn. Is being that leader. Taking charge of your life. Demonstrate who you truly are. Okay. You are called upon to exercise your leadership qualities, to act with integrity, to take clear, wise decisions. The Queen of Swords does exactly that. She takes clear, wise decisions. So I really love this for you. And to empower others for the highest good of all, which is also what we see in the Hierophant. Okay, so this is, this is beautiful. To act with integrity, to take clear, wise decisions, and to empower others for the highest good of all. This is a time for strong and selfless service. Lead with strength and wisdom. So I think this is what you're working towards, Capricorn, if you aren't doing this already. I think this is what you're doing. I just think it is all going to come together very, very soon for you. So what a beautiful message there right next to our Hierophant. So that's something you can use to your advantage. Lead with strength and wisdom. We're just going to take a crystal affirmation card for you now. Oh wow, you got a puffer light. I remain connected to my spiritual self. So you can screenshot that if you like. What an absolutely gorgeous crystal. I remain connected to my spiritual self. So there could be a spiritual business that you guys are doing. There is a lot here. The Hierophant, the High Priest, the connection to the spiritual self. And I think you just need to have that balance between the material and the uh, spiritual, where you still know that you can be a strong leader and connect to your spiritual side and help others spiritually without losing that material side of you. But obviously don't remain in bondage to it because there's so much more. And also this Ten of Cups is the spirit. The cups is the connection to spirit. So it's just a beautiful goal that you're wanting to achieve here. And the way you're going to achieve it 
is to celebrate these small wins. Showcase your work. Get out there. Take those decisions. Believe in yourself. And sparkle like the star that you are. Don't be scared of that and hide away and think that it's something of the devil to do that. Because that's not the case. I'm just seeing you being really, really powerful, but really, really balanced at the same time. And I'm seeing a lot of material stuff coming in for you, where perhaps it hasn't before. And this ending of whatever these nightmares, uh, or this betrayal, should I say, it has been, is gone now. And I think the nightmares are going to be released from you as well, soon. Okay. So, Capricorn, we got that out finally. I hope this has helped somebody out there. I wish you all so well. And I will see you all again in the next one. Bye.